I just was thinking about how much I love acting. How much? Welcome <laughs> 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 back to our stupid Rex is Ethan so Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 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 Twitter
एसोसिएट करने लगे जो नंबर है ना हर जगह नंबर वो बहुत प्रॉब्लम का रूट है हर जगह Someone you know, you don't expect them to like hang a rope around the fire. Just like quit everything. Hmm. जो सोचे थे कि at this time मैं कहाँ पहुँगा? उसकी compare में कुछ भी नहीं हूँ. और उसके लिए गुस्सा है गुस्सा खुद ही पे. कुछ astonishing create करना है ताकि audience देख के आए बोले कि भाई ये क्या है कैसे बनाया है? गर्ल नहीं कर सकते यार ऐसा काम कैसे कर सकते <laughs> कह रहे सर डेटा 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 पागल तो मैं बहुत बस हो गया सर सर Yeah, so a documentary. Yeah, that's a great title. You know, instead of alma mater. Yeah, alma, alma matters. matters. Um, that's an extremely important documentary. I yeah, feel. Me too. Uh, I don't know if there's others like it. Um, it's the first one I'm seeing, but I, I don't know if there's other. But obviously, films have touched on the subject. Yeah. Of the amount of pressure, especially Indian students have put on them from. The entire culture, from either their parents, from other peers, from obviously just getting a job, or you think you're just going to be a failure in life if you yes. do not get this job, and yes. then obviously that much pressure building up to a bunch of kids committing suicide because of it. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm assuming this goes into all those aspects. It looked like it did, and that's, it sure that's an extremely important documentary. It wouldn't surprise me if the documentary covers certain people throughout the storytelling, and if one of the people they've been traveling with kills mm -hmm. themselves in the midst of the documentary. Um, and it it is. We discovered that immediately. Like we watched Gully Boy, and requests started coming in. And then the very first film that we saw after Gully Boy was Three Idiots. No, Three Idiots was the first film we ever saw. Oh, that's right. We saw the trailer to Gully Boy. Three Idiots was the first film we actually watched. Yes. Gully Boy was the first film we saw in theaters. theaters. Yes. And that I mean, it's a lighthearted fare, but central to the story in Three Idiots is the fact that there's this pressure on students, and one of the guys in Three Idiots kills himself. Yeah, that was shocking to us when we first saw it. Very, uh, even though we know, like, especially in, in Asia specifically, the amount of pressure all throughout Asia of uh, that that students are under. But this is the first thing we'd ever seen. It was like this yeah. lighthearted thing touched on that subject. I know. And it was... I know. We then we then we began to realize. Because so many of you beautiful, stupid babies at the time were letting us know, yeah, you guys, you don't, you don't understand. And we didn't, because culturally here in the United States, in the 1950s and 60s, uh, until the late 60s, it was no question. You get a degree, and if you don't, you're a failure. Mm -hmm. And there were societal pressures. Nothing like they faced, no. but there were pressures. Yeah. Then that changed, and now in America... Whereas in the 50s and 60s, if you got a degree, it was pretty much an assurance that you were going to have a good job for the rest of your life. And then something happened here after the 2008 financial crisis. A degree doesn't mean anything. A degree means jack squat in America now. Yeah. So, so you're just basically putting yourself in debt for not even a guarantee. With yeah, I mean, unless you're talking about very specific industries yeah. like you cannot be a physician. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, so many other jobs that used to, you know, Many people have gotten their degrees and then they just go off into other areas because they said, yeah, I got my master's in this particular discipline and no one hired me. So I yeah. went and actually followed what I love doing. Yeah. So this looks really interesting. I'd be interested. We, we've, we've yet to watch a documentary. And we've, I think we've seen a few um, trailers for them. Um, those are just, those are hard for me to like review because it's like, you're not judging acting. You're not really... It's a whole different criteria. It's a whole different criteria for, yeah. for uh, documentary. I know how to tell if a good documentary is good or bad, but it's, it's, do I just you, find it's more strange to do a full review on a documentary. I feel how like. often do you watch documentaries just personally on your own? If we have time, I love them. Yeah, I love documentaries. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I nature I documentaries. Love I love documentaries. Documentaries that they they I feel like as long as they're 
credible. Uh, and you, you know that's, that. that's the danger. Mm -hmm. You don't know if what you're being told is, is true. Yeah, just because somebody made a movie about it doesn't mean they got the information right. Yeah. Uh, they have agendas sometimes. But if you've seen this one, let us know how it is. Uh, should we see, and what other documentaries should we check out? Let us know. And if you are going through exams, we love you. And we're here for you. And I hope you do well. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> That's, I don't know what else to I say. Know. I hope you don't put too much pressure on yourself. Me too. And I hope that irrespective of... This is really hard because I know a lot of a lot of families measure their acceptance of their yeah. child based on their test scores. And yeah. I'm, for those of you experiencing that, I am so, so sorry. Yeah. So let us know down below.